Hi, this is Thundee from BorderWalk.com and today we'll be doing an unboxing and review of the LG Triton. Uh, this is an LG smartphone that is available on the US cellular network. And um, so let's take a look at the packaging first. You can see it's a very nice, uh, clean package box. Um, has some information about the device on it. Um, so let's just go ahead and just check that out. It's a 3.0 WQVGA touchscreen with hepatic feedback, full quality keyboard, three megapixel camera, built-in accelerometer, four gigabyte flash and two gigabyte RAM, internal micro SD slot, expandable, and Bluetooth 2.0. So it's uh, spec-wise, it's pretty nice. Um, I'm not sure about the um, process on the new, but we can check that out as this review goes on. So we're going to go ahead and open up the device. Uh, LG's done a very nice job in the packaging here. Uh, simple, black, very uh, slick all around. Um, <clears throat> and we're going to open it up. You open it up from the side, and uh, which reveals the LG tri uh, Triton. This is the Triton itself. Uh, Taking a look at the device, you can see the touch screen on top. It does have uh, three physical buttons, a talk, back, and button. And the toggle, uh, basically the uh, either trackball uh, D-pad, is actually in the uh, right-hand corner. So kind of it's on the top when you rotate the uh, phone. There are two volume keys on the side, an SD card slot, USB connector, a 3.5 mm jack, the 3.0 camera at the back, and of course the um, go ahead and look at the battery bay. The battery is actually a 950 m AH battery. Um, for this device and um, slide down and check out the keyboard uh, th this uh, build feel kind of reminds me of the G1 as a full four level QWERTY keyboard uh, which you can use to you know type type and display messages and uh, so let's check out what else we have in the packaging let's put this aside here um, you can pull this up reveal more of the packaging we do have the travel adapter which is basically a USB connected adapter uh, with the USB cables let's put that aside uh, this also is supplied with a um, um, with headphones actually are uh, in ear earbuds I believe so we'll take a look at that and uh, they have come with separate buds for you there and um, of course they have the manual, which hopefully we can get out. It'll be kind of difficult to one second. So yeah, we have your manual and uh, user guide and all that fun stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and charge the device and hopefully we will have that charged up and we will be able to give you a full review of the Triton as uh, this goes along so uh, let's check that out i have the phone um all charged and uh, ready to go yes and um first thing you notice when you actually turn on the device and it's all powered on is you get to the home screen the home screen actually actually are three home screens uh in the sense this is the first home screen my second home screen and my third all through the sidebar there which allows you to add uh, icons onto the home screen. So I actually have a video in this. I can go ahead and add, say, another video in this screen. And so on and so forth. So basically I have two videos, or I can add more stuff as I go along with that. Now, when you, uh, I guess saying, when you start up the page, um, the phone, sorry, you do have a couple options at the bottom. You have your message option, which takes you to your messaging center, where you can check out text messages, picture messages, go to your inbox, outbox, and you also check out your voicemail. So this is your whole messaging center right there. Um, then the second one is your call option, which allows you to, of course, dial a number to call. You can also go through recent calls and go through contacts. So you can actually check your contacts, which I have none on this phone, but and pick out contacts to call from there. So we end that. Um, then we also have our contacts on the right hand side, contact list. And of course we go into our main um, main phone menu. Now the main phone menu is also divided into four sections. You can either go through your call section. This is the multimedia section. And you have your 
uh, apps or tool section and of course your phone settings section here you can basically edit all the settings from your sound your ringer to your display the touchscreen calibration call settings message settings as well as full settings and bluetooth turning that on or off which is pretty easy by just clicking on or off so that works out pretty well and we head back we can um and you go to the uh the tool sections you have uh, voice command you have an organizer you have tools which also include your calculator and your tip calculator as well as a unit converter um, you do have a, a drawing panel to scribble on and I will attempt not to do that because I am terrible at drawing you have a notepad and you do have a, a stopwatch and a wall clock so it allows you to do a few things uh, on here um, in your multimedia section you have a couple of multimedia um, uh, things you can use you you can look at photos you can take photos listen to music um, which allows you to play songs in uh, create a playlist do genre uh, basic music settings that uh, work pretty well you can also edit those settings and prompt background music and things like that um, you can also do use this as a voice recorder so at least if you want to record like a lecture or something this will do the job for you. We have games on here too. We have Pac-Man up in the front and also there's a document viewer which you can view documents on your phone and then of course the very top of course is the um, the uh, call settings which actually has your calls, your contacts, speed dial, your messaging, uh, you can send out new text messages, you have an internet, you have a navigator for this device uh, do you want to exit navigator? Yes, I do. And we will exit in a second. And Easy Edge, which would be part of, part of the um, mobile settings where you can go to the mobile shop, uh, the city ID, your navigator, as well as Pac-Man. And, uh, and finally, the browser. Now, we can actually use the browser, but I can show you how the browser looks like. Once you power up the browser, you actually have a couple of um, screens you can actually... Um, select uh, web pages to go to this Facebook and MySpace up there AP News, US Seller which is the carrier for this device Weather and Cellfire which I'm not exactly sure what is Cellfire but looking at options they are very well placed out options to go to an address, save favorites, go to your home page back and forward there's a refresh button as well as a zoom so you can actually zoom in and in this case sorry scroll through to zoom in the scroll back that kind of fun stuff so um, it's it is nice and um, yeah that basically is the browser the problems I, I can't connect because of course I don't have your seller but um, that's just showing you the basic uh, browser features here and so we're just gonna head back we hit end to head out of there. Another cool thing uh, that this, this phone has is when you actually slide out the keyboard it turns to this 3D uh, screen effect so we can easily access a few key functions like the browser, your uh, new picture messages, and if you can see that clearly, let me just zoom in a little bit, um, easy edge store, notepad, messages, and it's just a quick way for you to scroll through and go through different uh, divide, different options on the phone. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a nice feature. Now, one thing I want to do is uh, show you guys the um, some video playback as well as the camera itself. Uh, the camera is very easy to use and access. You, once you hit the camera button on the top, I'm just going to hit that, and it takes you straight to the uh, camera options, which allows you to take a photo or record a video. So I click on that. And immediately that brings that up, and you can probably see the uh, my speakers up there through that. And the camera function is very basic, but very easy to use. There's a timer. Uh, you can go through pictures. Of course, there's camera settings, and you can switch to video. Um, there's also uh, um, indoor outdoor settings. I can switch quickly to the video. Just tap on that. So I'm in the video settings and you can see it's similar but you can also record since it's actually video. Um, and I did some recording indoor and outdoor so I'm going to post that video up also with this as well as um, uh, some pictures for the device. So why don't you actually, before we do that, let's, why don't we um, 
do some video playback. So we just connected um, the speakers to this, and uh, we have the one of my Indo videos. So you can check that out. You can see uh, the video playback settings. You can actually rotate the video if you want, up and down. Um, there's a pause and play play function, and uh, this the video quality is pretty good. Uh, playback quality is pretty clear. You can see um, what I recorded quite clearly. But I will uh, basically load up this video with the uh, with the review. So that's video playback. In general, the um, USL phone, uh, basically the Triton on USL, is a very very nice device. A nice conversion device that actually. Um, you know, I would say bridges the gap between uh, a cell phone and a smartphone. Uh, it doesn't feel like you're using, you know, overwhelming technology, and it doesn't look like you're using outdated tech at the same time. It feels like you're using a smartphone, but smartphone is built for a user user concept. So basically, it's very user intuitive. It's a very easy phone to use. I mean, you can pick this up, and uh, you can definitely easily use this. Um, so it's a very nice phone. I do like it. I do. Like the builds, it's a little, it's a little on the light side, not as weighted as say um, the um, not as weighted as say maybe a G1, which is, has a similar design. But it is a very, very nice phone. I just changed my background there, but um, I, I do like it. It's 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 solid. It's uh, clean. Um, as you can see, I actually just found that out. Uh, not only do I have one, two, three screens per per um, page and device, but I do actually have a rotating uh, home screen, which is pretty nice. So I actually have, uh, technically, if you want to put it this way, I do have four home screens uh, plus three sub-screens, so actually technically 12. So I can actually play around and use a lot with, uh, with this device, which is pretty, pretty nice and pretty good. So... You know, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. This is Thunder E from Motor Work saying thank you. And if you have any comments, any questions, just put us on our page. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter pages. And hit us up on Google Buzz. So this is Thunder E from Motor Work saying thank you. And always enjoy your entertainment.